Hello everyone, welcome back to the React.js lifecycle tutorial. And this is Practical IT. We're going to provide even more tutorials on React.js. So if you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. So with that, we're going to proceed to the second part of like the life cycle, and that's going to be updating the component. So if you remember, whenever we are clicking on this one, we were able to increment the state of the component, and then this was incrementing, and then it was rendering again and again on this part. So if we take back to that of the code, that one which is responsible for incrementing is going to be this one. And on for the button, we have already associated the on click with the increment counter. And every time we are incrementing or when we every time that we're clicking on the button, then the state of the counter is going to be just incremented. So the other one that we're going to see on this one is the should uh, component update lifecycle. And this one is going to be a good one when we're going to be just using the um, a chance or we're trying to get like a chance to determine if we are going to be rendering a component or not. Now, this is very important, especially when we are taking into a consideration of the uh, performance. Sometimes there might be things that we're going to check ahead of time and then we're going to say, well, no, we're not going to update that one. There is no need to render the whole component. Or some other time, depending on like the scenario, we're going to say, yeah, this is important. We have to go ahead and then just render the component. So if we are here, as you can see, even though then we haven't changed anything on the counter, by the fact that we are adding the should component update over here, which is returning a fault on this one by default, it's not incrementing and hence it is not reloading the component or it's not rendering the component. In short, when this one is returning false, what it means is render is not going to be triggered or nothing is not going to be just reloaded again. That's why even though I'm clicking on the increment, it's not going to show it. This is the same as saying return false, right? So if I go back and then click on this one, the effect is going to be just the same. So once in a while, you might get into this kind of problem where you have added the short component update and things might not work as expected. In that case, you have to check whatever is going to be going on this one is properly handled. So this is like just to show you ahead of time. Otherwise, like this is, this is not exactly how we're going to be just using it. So what should component updates going to provide us is the previous uh, prop, previous state, and snapshot. Oops, snapshot. So these are like the things that we're going to be just working on. Primarily, we're going to be more interested on the prop and that of the prep state, I mean the, the state. And every time, whenever there is a change on a property or a state, then the render is going to be just triggered and then it's going to reload it. You know, like that, that, that component is going to be just rendered again. So for this case, let's try to uh, have a scenario where we're going to allow to increment the counter up until let's say six or seven. And then after that one, we're going to, we're not going to reload or we're not going to show the component to be rendered again. So as you can see, every time that we're clicking, the state is going to be just changing uh, by incrementing by one. But in this case, we want to have like a case where the counter is reaching to some point, we don't want to render it anymore. So in order to do that, we can go here. And, and uh, in this particular case, that value is going to be just on the previous state. And the current state is going to be just whatever has been updated, which in this case, let's say if this one is one, then two is going to be just the next one. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say if uh, previous state uh, that counter, uh, let's say uh, less than seven, then in this case, I'm going to say return false. Other one, oh, so let's make it true. As long as it is less than seven, we're going to return true, which means we want to render it. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So if I go back, we're going to see, if you have mentioned, the, if you have noticed it in the previous one, 
counter was always showing as one, not as two. That was because like when the component did mount is happening, we were incrementing by one, but right after that one, it's going to come to the should, should the component be updated. And then in the previous case, the default was false and it was not updating. But this time the counter has been updated to two, and then it's going to come here and then it's going to verify two is less than seven and then it's going to return true, which is it's going to render that. So if I'm going to increment, 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 then that's it, you know, just after six, even though I'm going to be um, clicking on this one, it's not going to increment it, which means after six or after this uh, scenario has been updated, I mean, uh, obtained, the, the false is going to be just returned and then render won't be called anymore, in which case the, the, the component might not be reloaded again. So this way you can see that the, um, the should component update is very essential. At the same time, it's going to be just, it could be buggy in some of the cases if you are having very complex kind of logic over here. And if that's not loading properly, then you can see that um, un, un, uh, you know, like unrequired kind of scenarios could happen, but you can uh, play with this one as long as you want to verify uh, if you have to load or unload the uh, components ahead of time by using uh, the should component update. All right, so this was all for this video. I'm going to show you on the next video, which is the next part of the update component lifecycle.